Now, so, Antonia, talk to me about what you're hearing from these voters about whether they feel like they're being listened to, their issues are being addressed ahead of this primary. Garrett, people here feel like they've been completely ignored and they are feeling financially squeezed right now. Anson is a rural community close to the border with South Carolina, the kind of place where the plants that used to provide jobs have gone overseas in recent years. So people here mm -hmm. tell me they're mostly working low wage jobs and they're seeing the cost of everything around them go up, but their income isn't increasing to meet that. And they don't feel like the Biden administration or even, frankly, leaders here at the statewide level are doing enough to bring them relief. And so many of the voters, particularly black voters under the age of 40 here, tell me that they're not that engaged with the midterms right now. Many of them haven't voted yet early in the primaries and aren't even sure they're going to go out and vote tomorrow because they feel fed up with the entire system. In fact, I spent the day yesterday at a black owned convenience shop and the owner there was telling me that his prices have gone up and he's had to leave some of his shelves empty because he can't raise his prices on the people that he serves because they just can't take it. Take a listen to a conversation that I had with one of his patrons there. People have this agenda where they say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then when they actually get in the seat. You just have lost trust. Yeah, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nobody never say, don't, don't nobody never follow through and do what they say they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? They have all these promises. If you vote for me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this change. I'm going to do this. It never gets done. Garrett, interestingly, some of the non-voters who I met there yesterday told me that the one issue that might get them re-engaged is abortion. They were aware of the leaked Supreme Court draft. Uh, many of them, while they don't like abortion, say that they do support choice and were concerned about the rollback in women's reproductive rights. And so they were telling me that they may go out and actually re-register to vote and get re-engaged ahead of November if they feel like they can get behind a candidate who they think will take serious action to protect abortion rights. But right Right now, because of financial issues being their number one concern, they frankly just feel a bit disconnected and disrespected by people who they hope to see act on their behalf sooner. Garrett.